Hi, this is Aubrey, and I'll be teaching you how to use the Geometry Graphing Site GeoGebra. Um, up here in the left corner, we have our toolbox. On the left side, we have our box where you can type in different formulas. Right now, I have typed in y equals 4x, so if it plugs it, the graph, we'll plug it in for you, and it'll do a line of y equals 4x. And up here in the right corner, you have your undo button, so you can do different types. We have the three lines here. You can make a new document. You can save it or don't save. I'm not going to save it right now. So first we're going to start out with the second tool here. You have your point, your point on object, and so far on. First your point, you can just click anywhere on the graph and it will pop up in this left side box. Right now I'm at 1.4, 3.18. If you go back into it, you can go to the point on object and different um, tools for you. Next, you're going to move on to a line. It says the instructions out here, select two points. So I can go anywhere on the graph and select two different points. And it'll make a line for me. Next, I can do a segment where it also says select two different points. And I can just go anywhere also. And go down here, right here. And it you can do whatever you would like it to do. We're going to move down into polygons. It helps you. This is a really easy and clean way to make a triangle. So select all vertices, then click first vertex again. So what it means is you're going to click three points, and it highlights your box for you. And then to finish off it, the triangle, you go right back up to the first point you clicked. Next, you can do a regular polygon. So you're going to click two points on here, anywhere in the graph. And then this box is going to come up, and it's going to ask you how many vertices you want. You can do five for a pentagon, six for a he hexagon. I'm going to do six right now. So then when I click OK, a hexagon is going to pop up. Now, an easy way to find the area is you can go down to the um, box, and it says area cm squared. And you, all you have to do is click on the shape, and it will give you the area. You can also do this with a circle. There's a circle tab, so you can do a circle with the center through the point. So we're going to do that right now. So the point J is the center. No matter how big it is, it'll always be the center. I'm going to make a circle here. And then I can also do an area. And if I click on it, the area will come up. Um, there's also, you can find the slope of lines. Just like this. And then you can <laughs> find the slope by clicking on the line. And it'll give you the slope. It'll be over 1, down 1.17. And that is how you use the app GeoGebra.